let's snap to it. In this video, we'll be discussing the ultimate daily maintenance checklist for the fantastic hydroponic system of deep water culture tanks. Why a daily maintenance checklist? <laughs> Whether you're a beginner or a seasoned grower, it's essential to stay on top of your hydroponic system. Whether your system is in your garage, your kitchen, or in your classroom, this checklist is for you. Sometimes I don't check on them every single day, huh? but you need to check on them at least a few times a week. Ah. Be sure and watch to the end. I'm going to share my secret tool for daily maintenance. Here we go. Number one may seem pretty simple, but it needs to be done on a daily basis. What is the health of your plants? How do they look? If they look healthy, then move on to healthy plants, item number two. What is the height of your grow light compared to the height of the tallest plant? As you can see here, my starfighter lettuce is taller and growing. <laughs> I love that, but I'm going to need to raise the light. You want your grow lights to be two to four inches above your tallest leaves. If a grow light is too far above your plants, then your plants will grow thin and kind of leggy. If the grow light is too close, then it might burn the leaves. If you're growing correctly, you will soon be adjusting the light on a regular basis. So be sure to check it. On to Plants Look Healthy checklist number three. Peek at the nutrient level. If your seedlings have just been placed in the net cups and into the DWC tank, then the nutrient level should be approximately one quarter of an inch into the bottom of the net cup. This already has roots going into the nutrient, so the nutrient level could be lower. This is a brand new start, and you can see that there is water dripping from the bottom. That tells me that there's not a whole bunch in the top, and there's some dripping from the bottom, so it's just right for this new seedling. Another way to check the nutrient level for young seedlings is to simply raise the lid <laughs> a couple of inches and look at the bottom of the net cups when you do. If you can see droplets coming off the bottom, then it's typically at the right level. If there are no droplets on the bottom of the net cup, then I might need to add some pH balance water, one to two cups at a time. What if your plants are more mature? The level of your nutrients should have naturally lowered through plant absorption and evaporation. This is a good thing because your plant will grow air roots and it will be receiving more air, which is something they need to grow. Check to be sure that the root system of all of the plants are in the nutrients. When the tank is down to one quarter full, then fill it to one half. Being sure not to overfill because that could kill the air roots that have been developed. Let's move to healthy plant daily maintenance item number four. Is the timer set for the correct time of day? If the time isn't current, then reset it. If the power has gone off, your timer will need to be reset. And remember that your plant growth is optimized with 12 to 14 hours of light. Is the aerator running? Is the air stone bubbling? Is it running consistently? It'd be a good idea to lift this lid and see. Wait a minute, what if my plants don't look healthy? Don't panic. <laughs> Let's look at a few things you can do to revive your plants and keep watching till the end for my daily maintenance secret. Revival plant checklist, item number two. Your plant looks like it's withering and this starfighter lettuce did. I lifted the lid to check 
to see if the roots were in the nutrient. And I realized that it was in with other plants that had longer roots. This one has not put down the longer roots. So here's what I did. I gently poured a few ounces of pH balanced water on the top of it and through the seeding media. Then I placed this plant where I knew that the nutrient was, as you can see, dripping from the bottom. Step number three in the revival plant checklist is the same as in the healthy plant checklist. Add pH balanced water if the plants are seedlings and add nutrient if the plants are more mature. Number four for our revival. What if the nutrient level is correct and your plants still look unhealthy? This is when you're going to turn into a more experienced hydroponic farmer and you're going to check the pH level. All aboard. Ideally, the pH level should be between 5.5 and 6.5. If the pH level isn't correct, then the plants are not going to be able to absorb nutrients. pH levels should be tested after nutrient or pH balanced water is added, mixed, and you've waited 30 to 60 minutes. Revival checklist, item number five. This step involves using a tool that will measure the total dissolved solids in parts per million. You don't have to remember that, but <laughs> if there aren't parts per million between 800 and 1500, then your plants will not be receiving the nutrients they need. It's closer to 800 when the plants are young and closer to 1500 when the plants are more mature. You simply remove, turn on, and place in the water. Number six of the revival checklist. Go through the healthy plant checklist. Make sure your plants are receiving the right amount of air and the right amount of light and the right amount of nutrient. Congratulations, hydroponic farmer. You made it to my secret. It's not really fancy, but it saved me a lot of time and a lot of energy. I keep a gallon jug of nutrient and a gallon jug of pH balanced water close by when I'm checking my hydroponic system. That way, if I need to add a little bit more, it's right there for me. Pat yourself on the back. Smile at your plants. They are grateful that you spent a few minutes checking on them each day. Happy hydroponics.